Good afternoon. How are you? I'm recording this on a snowy, snowy day. And afterwards, I'll show you how much snow there is outside. But first, today we're going to be looking at die graphs. Die graphs are two letters that represent one sound. So die graphs is just a fancy way of saying two letters that represent one sound. They can come at the beginning, the middle, or an end of a word. The ones we are going to be looking at are SH, SH, and CH, CH. The difference between SH and CH is that SH, we don't use our vocal cords. Our vocal cords are what's on our, um, on our neck. So in SH, we're not using our, we're not vibrating our vocal cords, but in CH, CH, we are in some words. So you can remember this like ch, like choo choo, like a train, and sh, as if the teacher is telling you to be quiet and say hush. All right, so in order to do this, we're going to look at a few words that are very similar except for their beginning digraph. So first we're gonna look at the words chair, and share. Apart from that long A sound that we've studied already, A, I like rain, and A consonant E, these words are different because of their beginning digraphs. So up here I'm going to put CH for our CH and SH for SH. I want you to go ahead and follow along with me too. So here we have ch, air, chair. Here we have sh, air, share. So a chair, we sit on like a silla, and share, compartir, that we can share with somebody. Now let's look at the next words. Both of them have this short I, but they have a different beginning digraph. Here we have the word chip, like a potato chip. Maybe you like Takis better or maybe you like chips. And here we have the word ship, ship, like a pirate ship in the ocean. So we have chip and ship. Now let's take a look at cheese. Cheese. Long E there. And the word cheese. We're only looking at words that have the beginning sound as the digraph of ch or sh. So cheese, there are a bunch of different kinds of cheeses like American, cheddar, um, cheddar cheese. Maybe you like them on enchiladas. Here we have cheese. This is like saying she's going to do something. She's going to the store. Cheese, cheese. Now let's look at chin and shin. Going to annotate it, these are both the short I. Chin is the place on your face right below your mouth that sticks out. It's your chin. And in the three little the three little pigs, they say, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So that's the word chin. Then we have the word shin. Shin is what's on your leg between your knee and your foot. And sometimes people get shin splints if they work out a lot on the in soccer, running, they might hurt their shin. 
finally, we're going to look at, oh, let me tell you, what would happen if we put an E on the end of this word? It would become shine, like the sun shine, because this E makes the I say its name. Now let's look at the word chew and shoe. Both of these have very interesting spellings for that uh, long U sound. But that doesn't matter right now. We're just looking at chew and shoe. So chew, that's when Miss Williams or I tell you, please make sure to chew your food or do not talk while you're chewing with your mouth open. Here we have shoe which is what we wear on our feet. So, do you remember what these two are called? Ch and sh. They're called digraphs that are two letters that represent one sound. So in all of these words, these, this first digraph just represents one sound. Ch, air, ch, ip, ch, ease, ch, in, Ooh, sh, ooh, sh, ein, sh, in, sh, ease, sh, ip, sh, share. All right, you have those down. Now we're going to see that these can also come in another part of the word. They don't always come at the beginning. So I'm going to go ahead and erase. I'll leave our digraphs at the top. And let's take a look at the word bench. Do you hear that sound in there at the end? Bench. Bench. So a bench is what I sit on outside. Excuse me, outside. And then we have another thing that we can sit on. Couch. So now this digraph is coming at the end of the word and making the ch sound. Here's a piece of fruit I eat in the summer. Here's a long e sound. What would this word be? P, e, ch, peach. Maybe I want to eat a peach for lunch. Unch, lunch. Or Maybe I have eaten too much and I get a stomach ache. So I want you to write these words down and then I want you to underline the ch digraph. So as you're underlining them, make sure you're saying the word quietly to yourself. Bench. Underline ch. Cow. Ch, couch, peach, peach, lunch, lunch, and much. The CH is making that ch sound, like choo choo train. All right, we also have words that end in the sh sound. So, can you already think of one that might end in that? Hmm, what about something that lives in the ocean? Fish. What about that? Fish. Short I sound there. Trash. Trash. I'm just annotating this to remind myself about our short vowels because we don't want to forget that also. After you've eaten, what do your parents ask you to do or parent or grandma or uncle or brother or sister? They might ask you to do what to your teeth? Brush, right? Brush. Brush your teeth.
When you wake up in the morning and it's quarter to four, you brush your teeth. And after dinner, what do you need to do with the dishes? You need to wash the dishes, wash. And on your birthday, what do you do when you blow out the candles? You make a wish. So with these words, I want you to also underline the digraph. Fish, trash, brush, wash, wish. Excellent job. All right, go ahead and clear your board. Now I'm going to give you one of the words we practiced and I want you to write it down and then we'll check to see if you're right. So you're gonna use either ch or sh and it's either gonna come at the beginning or the end of the word. So first I want you to write the word ship like a pirate ship that has lots of treasure. Think to yourself, where do I hear that ship, ship? Hopefully it looks like this. Ship, ship. Ready for the next one? Chin, like the pig said, not by the hairs on my chinny chin chin. Are we gonna use ch or sh? Ch. E n. I can slow check the word when I'm done. Ch. E n. Chin. Excellent. Keep it up. You're doing great. Next word. Hmm. Wish. Would you like to make a wish? Wish. Wish. I know W makes the W. I makes that short I. What makes the sh? Wish. Wish. Excellent. What about the word lunch? What did you have for lunch today? Lunch. Hmm. L. I know you makes that short U. Unch. N. Ch. Lunch. Here's our digraph. And last one. Here's a tricky one with lots of vowels in it. Cheese. Cheese. Would you like some cheese on your nachos at the Friday store? Cheese. Go ahead and write cheese. Should have ch. Ease. Cheese. Great job. I want you to take some of these words and write it, write them in a sentence. Next, you also have a word sort that has these digraphs in them. So I want you to go ahead and practice that digraph. So remember, ch and sh are two letters together that say one sound. And as promised, I'll give you a little quick tour of the snow outside my window. Here's the pile of snow. And here it is walking out to the backyard. The dogs could barely find a spot. So it's a pretty snowy day. Bye-bye.